Hello, my name is Alex Montejo. I am 17 years old and I am a Mexican immigrant that has been a proud Canadian citizen for over 10 plus years. Some of my interests are playing hockey, soccer, Cross. And watching football. One thing that I am really proud of that I was thinking about going into my grade 12 year was deciding to get out of my comfort zone. A couple of ways I demonstrated this was deciding to join the Link Crew. I was able to be a part of such an amazing group, being able to help out the new kids that are coming to Kearney. And I am just glad I did it because I felt really welcomed when the Link leaders took care of me, especially since I didn't know anybody at Kearney. First things first, I'd like to shout out Carlo, Etienne, Rolo, Heidi, Claire, Elizabeth, Gigi, Kimberly, Ariel, Hannah, Therese, Mr. Manfron, Miss McIntyre, Mr. and Mrs. Seacos for making this dream a reality and making this really a highlight of my grade 12 year. I can't wait to go on more adventures with you guys and I can't wait to go to New Brunswick. Another example of this was when I decided to go on a trip to Yellowknife to help out uh, all the indigenous people there and just help out the community and visit the youth there and uh, on my trip there I was really really amazed on how beautiful our country is up north. Even though I've had an amazing time at my five years at Kearney, I start I have to start thinking about the future. The future is a very scary thing to think about. For me, thankfully, I have somewhat of an idea of what I want to do. For my post-secondary institution, I would like to go to either UBC, SFU, or Douglas College so I can pursue my career path of wanting to become a chemical engineer like how my father and like how my grandfather before me. My mother is also a chemical engineer and I would like to follow in my family's footsteps and carry the legacy. And also chemical engineering is something that I'm really uh, interested in because I like the sciences and math. My personal goals, I'm just trying to make sure I'm living an active lifestyle. I've been working out every other day at least, uh, going on runs eating healthy. Also, another thing for my personal goal is to start working a lot more. I have been uh, doing lots of volunteer work, being a, a ref and a mentor to younger officials. And I've just recently started working uh, my first job. So now I am trying to fulfill my goal of trying to get uh, a good stable income. In regards to my original capstone goal and question, the reason I got inspired to choose this question of wondering how hard it is to video edit and video shoot is because I've always been a creative person and I've always watched YouTube in my spare time. So I decided I wanted to see how hard it is it to really become a YouTuber. 
My goal and my capstone did not change over time because I was able to figure out the difficulties for video editing and video shooting since if you mess with one part of the video you would have to tamper with the entire thing. So that's why it is very important that you're very precise with your editing, selection, voice levels and voice tones. I accomplished and learned many things throughout this capstone journey, but the three things that I can take away from this project is learning patience, timing, and precision. There were many things that had to be overcome behind the scenes like for instance lost footage, video corruption, and also the editing software crashing every now and then. But I was able to overcome these things with the three things that I learned and finally figure out how to video edit and record proper videos. It's hard to believe that I was barely able to get clips together, but now I created my own little cinematic movie. In conclusion, I have grown so much skill-wise and personally through the work of this capstone project. I have gone out, out of my comfort zone to go out and record, take on a new hobby and skill of video editing, while being able to capture all of these clips for my great grade 12 year. I want to make sure I keep growing as an individual and now want to take on the task of post-secondary. I would also like to thank and congratulate all the people from the class of 2020. So until then, peace out.